doing here, we're teaching the puppy to target on a bite. His left. His right. Come on, buddy. Snap at it. There we go. Come on. And left. And right. Very good. Overhead. Oh, and he gets it. Good boy. Rebite. Attack. Good attack. Good boy. Good boy. His right. His left. Good boy. All right. And again, his left. No, his left. Good. Over top. Yes. Down low. Yeah. Come on. Oh. And you see the down low is a bit of a problem. Not much, but... Oh, come on. Yeah, good boy. We never, he always, always has to work for it. Oh, good boy. All right. And we can keep the tension on if he's letting go, which he's not. But if he was letting go, all we do is wait for him to ease off on the bike and pull it out of his face, which he won't let me. So why teach targeting, you might ask? Well, several good reasons. It'll improve your dog's split-second decision-making. It'll improve his confidence, his coordination, his ability to adjust on the fly to changing situations. It'll give him that extra edge that may bail him and you out out of trouble on the street. Attack! Yes! Good attack! Okay, come on, buddy. Okay, what do we got? What do we have? Are you gonna hang on? Are you gonna hang on, buddy? Are you gonna hang on? Woohoo! Oh, we gonna work out? Oh, girls. Girls. Oh. Oh. All right. Attack. Oh. Good attack. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes. Now remember, it takes more than bite work to have a well rounded dog. Come on, guys. Go on, go on, let's go. Go on. Come on. Come. Very nice. Come. Look at you. Free. <laughs> Come on, buddy. You're so clever. You're so clever. Come here. You're so clever. Oh, you gonna snuggle with me? Huh? Who's that clever puppy? Who's a very clever puppy, huh?